So if she's laying flat, then that increases tension. that depth and tension. So we want her up here. So I am constantly evaluating. When she first puts her feet on, she does this because mm -hmm. that's how she was from birth on, mm -hmm. and that's that pigeon piece. Yep. And so I will straighten and look and see. Um, and generally what will happen is even when I put them in the correct position at some point, she's going to want to change it because it doesn't to feel what's natural. Comfortable. Yep. Yeah. And so when she's on the table, it's important that she's comfortable. We'll address all those Question issues. Question for you. Is it too hot? Sort of. Sort of? Okay, we can turn the table off. That's the other thing. We're always going to check. Plus, she's got the she's, drink thing Yeah, on. she's and she's um, covered. Would you rather the blanket come off? Yeah. Okay, we'll take off the blanket. Just leave the sheet. Okay. That's how I would have liked it. <laughs> so that's why I asked You run hot. I run hot, yep. So, so that's the idea, again, is that everything's comfortable with her. Normally, if we're not filming, I ask what her favorite music to relax is to, and we do music. For some kids who have a really tough time relaxing, they will watch a movie. Where's the... I haven't adjusted this in a while. I'm going to tip this down just a little bit, okay? So you lift up your head just a tiny bit. Okay, now head down. Is that okay? Mm -hmm. Yeah, so it doesn't look as pinched. Before it was up and I saw, if I see a crease here, that means her neck is being pushed up. So folks, what you're gonna see here is Dee Dee's going to evaluate again within the face down position. And then you're gonna learn, and mom gets to learn how to work with stones, hot stones, well, warm stones, and cupping. So these are different ways of decompression, and working with the soft tissue and it's all yours yay so one thing i'm going to have you do McKinnett, is go ahead and bring your arms forward keep your head down put your arms all the way out like you're going to try and fly off the table can you hold it up so when she does that that's where i can see that her right side so you mm -hmm. can see the difference mm -hmm. so now can you hold them up higher and this is where that this is this is part of it too is when it gets that tight because the lordosis those muscles are really high can you come any higher no okay go ahead and come at your side <laughs> <laughs> so that's why i do that is that that really shows me where the tension is when she's just standing up hi she's not necessarily using those muscles as much so that helps with this and that's what she complains about the most of her pain too. The low back. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And it's, that is, that is really tight. That's a mm -hmm. little tighter than the, you know, our typical tension yeah. that we have. And a, are you, are you still sleeping on your stomach? Yeah. Well, that's going to change after today. So when I show you how to work on her, I'll show you the sleep posture. Okay. Sleep posture is so, <laughs> it's so important. Okay, I'm going to use a little oil. I always use olive oil because it's good for the heart. We always want to check with parents and find out if their kids have any allergies. Always ask them how it feels. Um, some kids will bring their own. They have like the, you know, their own lavender oil mm -hmm. or something that they like. Um, sometimes I'll make blends for kids and they just bring that because that's their special blend. Mm -hmm. So what I'm doing right now is really checking her. The other thing that I look at when she gets on the table and she says she's comfortable is she sways one way. Mm -hmm. She's not, her hips isn't even with the shoulders. Mm -hmm. And that's just again shows me how something pulls. Mm -hmm. So I, if I were gonna give her a full treatment, I try and align her as much as possible while it's still comfortable. And then I would work on her. Right now I'm gonna show y'all how I use the warm stones. Have you had warm stones before? What? Which Shauna used one. Did she use yeah. them? Yeah. Oh, yay. Okay. So I always put them on my hand first and I check and I say, is that too warm? No. Okay. Then I say, then I do just the tip and really quickly. How does that feel? Good. Okay. And the warm stones helps for a couple reasons. Warmth helps to increase circulation. That's why circulation is increased when we're working out. So putting the warm stones on those tight muscles helps with relaxing them to make them a little bit easier. And it just feels good, doesn't it? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It's something you can do at home. They have little sets that plug in. They've got the little flat stones, like sometimes five or six, or you can get a bigger set. It takes 10 minutes to heat up, and it's really good for working on them before bed. Helps them to relax better, especially when we're changing sleeping positions. Mm -hmm. So now, <clears throat> I 
I would have done the massage and worked on her a little bit. Now we're going to cup. It's like an octopus sucking on your back. These are professional sets. I put it on and what the decompression, I call it decompression versus cupping. When we hear cupping, we think fire cupping. We think Michael Phelps. We think about all of the real deep marks where you'll see bruising, purpura, all those things. And that's not the case with kiddos. They have different sizes. And then there's the sets where you, you can get them and do them yourself. You just pop them on. Wait. And there's all different kinds. I don't, I need to grab the other ones. So you see a little bit of pink. With kids, I never leave them on very long. And again, I just kind of put them on. How does that feel? Funny. What? Funny, funny I know. Cause it'll be like, that's weird, that's weird. That feels funny. If it, I always ask, is it a good funny? Is it a bad funny? And remind them that anytime I do anything, and with kids you have to remind more often, if something doesn't feel good, you have to tell me, okay? Okay. And then I hear the okay. If I don't hear the okay, I'm gonna keep bothering her until I hear the okay. We don't just let it go. Sometimes if they're not saying anything, it's there's a reason. So I use the cups to help lift up the superficial tissue, and that helps with lymphatics. So the sliding and the pulling is helpful for just sort of moving and whenever we move, when we're working with lymph, lymph when, <laughs> when working with lymphatics, we always wanna go in the way that it moves. And we wanna think about lymph nodes. We don't want things to pool right here, especially with kiddos. So what I'm doing is I'm thinking about, if I'm cupping her back, where are her lymph nodes? They're in the front of the neck, they're in her arm armpit, and they're in the inguinal area, in the front of her hip. So when I'm using my direction, that's my thought process. I pull them on and I lift. When you're cupping, you don't push, you're lifting. So I'll put them on and I'll lift and I'll pull and I go that direction. So I can go down towards lymph nodes, up towards lymph nodes, down towards lymph nodes. Whatever I do to one side, I do to the other. And same thing if you're just kind of placing them on, like I do, I'll place them on all over. Whatever I do to one side, I do to the other side. Never ever cup if there's anything going on in her body, if she's had a cold, if she's been sick, um, especially with babies. We don't want to do anything that we're going to send more through the lymphatic system. We want to make sure that they're fairly healthy when we do this. Okay, so now we're going to show you sleep posture. Okay. Doc, did you quit on me? Oh, I was just working on some other stuff. Yeah. No okay. I'm going to kill you if you're not in these. <laughs> Folks, one of the most important things that helps you with your spinal alignment for the rest of your life is how you sleep. I was a tummy sleeper when I was a kid. I think you were too, right? Still yep. is. You still are a kid. Still today. She's still a kid. Yeah. Um, <laughs> So Dee's gonna show sleep posture and, and this, once you learn it, side sleeping and doing it the right way, that's how I sleep now and it is so comfortable. It's actually pretty easy to go side to side if you're somebody who needs to change position during the night. So you're, got, <laughs> you're now going to be a side sleeper if you haven't been before. Here you go. And either side or on your back is okay. What's happening with stomach, unless you have a massage table, which then you're gonna get congested, is that right now the spine is in the best um, position that it can be. So I'm gonna have you slide down, sweetie. Like this? Yeah, you did a great job. Now, turn, pick a side to turn on to. Me, this side. That side, okay. perfect. Okay, I'm gonna have you slide down just a little more. So what I'm doing is I'm thinking about her spine. So one thing I'm gonna point out every step of the way when something doesn't look okay. So right now, we're, she's stretched here and the other side of her neck. So we're not even, we're really looking at keeping, keeping her spine as even as possible. So I'm gonna give her something for her head. All kinds of pillow options for kids. What we're thinking about is keeping the space in between the ear and the shoulder, her ear and her shoulder, is supported. So we lift up the head. 
So that's too high because now this ear is closer. So we'll take this out. There we go. It's actually pretty good. I was thinking it might be too small. So any kind of pillow where she can comfortably rest and it feels good. How does that feel? Good. Does it feel soft and like temper pedic squishy? And again, you can get pillows everywhere. So now I'm looking and I'm gonna open up the spine here. Spine, I'm gonna open up so you can see her back. Don't worry, I'm not doing surgery. She's a little afraid. So I'm looking and I'm still seeing that kind of curvature and I'm like, why am I seeing that? And it's weird here, it's because her arm is down. I want this arm up in order to keep this part straight so it's not pulling forward. Any of that curvature, now I'm blocking blood flow here. So I'm gonna get her an elephant. We can use all kinds of stuffed animals and then you're just gonna hug him like he's your best friend. How's that? So now we've got that up so we don't have it pulling on this. Now over here, I'm like, what's going on with the low back? Why is there a little twist there? This side's rotated forward because her leg is down. So now I'm gonna take another pillow and getting the right pillows is so important and it's trial and error sometimes. I have great pillows, so it's pretty easy for me. So I want her knee, her ankle, this will also help um, mm -hmm. change that because when she's laying on her stomach or even if she kind of turns to her side, the feet's pulling in, so this will help. So as she grows, she's gonna outgrow the issues that she's had. So I want her hip, her knee, and her ankle all even. And then the shoulders are generally at this age are, are wider than hips. Not mine, but they can be. So we're, that's where this comes in. And again, it's you can use anything, but the idea is that her elbow and her shoulder are even. Mm -hmm. So now what we're doing, and I'll show you with my handy dandy spine, is we're keeping all of, this one's a little bigger than yours. We're keeping everything even. So I'll show you with this. I kind of pointed it on her, but you can't see it as much. These are all the nerves that come through here that are running through each individual vertebrae, and those are the discs. So if she's sleeping on her stomach like this, she's gonna get more of a curve here. So, and then here what happens is in order to breathe, she has to turn her head. When she turns her head, we get curvature all the way down. And normally when they're on their stomach, one hip shifts, so now we get a twisting here. So the idea if is that she's on her side with that support. If she's on her side without support and her head is tipped up, then we get curvature here. Mm -hmm. If her head is tipped down, then you get curvature in the neck. If she comes too far forward, which a lot of kids do when they sleep, then we're still getting curvature. So the idea is that we're keeping her spine as nice and straight as possible. Now, I want you to be fully honest with me. How do you feel? Good. Is it comfortable? Yeah. Okay, it takes getting used to, but it's so much more comfortable. It's, it's finding the right pillows. It's finding what supports her. One thing I am gonna show is I've had a lot of kids and adults even say, I didn't show this on the one video that's on my channel, um, so I'm gonna show it for here, is you can sleep on your back. If kids are having, you know, they just don't like sleeping on their side, you can't get them off their stomach, go ahead and turn onto your back. What we want here is the chin should never rest. And when we put big pillows like a lot of kids will sleep on, now we're causing that C curve in the back of the neck. So we want something that sits up underneath and they've got different pillows that, so that she's getting a nice neutral stretch to her cervical vertebrae. She has tension on one side more than the other, so she's turning naturally. So once we straighten out all that tension, then it's gonna change and she won't kinda wanna favor one side more than the other. And then here, if she just lays flat, the issue that we have is feet and her hips, because again, she's got that curvature. She doesn't lay perfectly straight. So as we work on her, then we straighten that out. And when we put her on support under her knees, then we can help with this. this she just falls in. This mm -hmm. is something that we have to work on and I can teach you all kinds of things. KT taping, we can do a video on that someday. 
KT taping also helps with this, and this is something that you can do. I can show you how to do it. Um, that's going to sort of help with that. And getting a pillow that's even for both sides. This one's kind of lumpy, but sort of a firm one that allows her knees to be up. How does that feel? Quiet. <laughs> He's stealing your thunder. Um, how, how does that feel? Good. Better? Okay. So, no tummy sleeping. Okay. It will be hard at first. Yeah. And a lot of times, though, parents will say, well, they won't stay on their side. They thrash all night long. They thrash because they're tight. They yeah. thrash because they're uncomfortable. So nice it. it'll get to, yeah. And because you're smaller, too, even with those. So I'm a side sleeper, but I need to turn in the middle of the night. So I'm able to just flip with everything. Mm -hmm. You get really used to having it. It becomes like one with mm -hmm. you. It becomes super comfortable and easy to do. Okay. Now we're going to go back to sideline. Yay! You ready? So we can show mama what to do. <laughs> Are you too comfortable? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Go turn over. Okay. Okay, okay. Actually, we are going to test the professional. Are you ready? Yeah. Dr. Paul, yeah. come help our little cutie get sideline sleeping. Yes. How do you, how do you put her? Well, so we need a pillow between your legs. How about this one? And I think if you bend your legs a little bit, you might be more comfortable. What do you think? That's good. And how's this pillow for your head? Good. It's good. It's comfortable. Mm -hmm. So like that. And what you're missing is something to hold on to. So let's find you a stuffed animal. How's he doing? Do you like elephants? Yeah, I guess. Okay. Oh, this have, is perfect. I have an elephant for you. This, this is perfect. And this elephant, we're going to just lift this up so we can show. <coughs> this arm here needs to kind of go over your little friendly elephant. You so cuddle at night. Yeah, so, what do you what do you notice though, Doc? So I'm trying to get nose in line with her sternum and the back straight and the knees are slightly bent for comfort. What am I missing? Can you tell him what he did wrong? I don't know. <laughs> so this is great. You weren't in here for the lesson. I missed the lesson, y'all. Yeah. Because this isn't the correct elephant. It's, we needed the middle-sized one. This yeah. is the baby elephant. So she's falling forward. Right. So. I was making do because I couldn't find the... Oh, there he is. He was hiding. That's the big one. Here's the middle-sized one. Let's try this elephant. Ha, ha, ha. How's that? Good. Good. Yeah. So now you notice those mm -hmm. things. And the reason that I like some of the stuffed animals and elephants, too, is that with the pillow, sometimes they'll fall. They'll still lean forward and fall forward. Hi, Ellie. When you've got something really big and thick like that, it kind of makes it easier. Mm -hmm. And with little ones, it's cool because those can become a support yeah. with laying. You can face it towards them, and then the legs become a support so they won't roll, roll forward. Okay, okay, so now I'm going to back you up towards me. Come back, come back, come back. Do you want to take baby so I can show mom what to do? Mm -hmm. Come on back. Here we go. Here we go. So there you go. There you this go. is the position you're going to want her in. And when you're working on her, mm -hmm. um, because again, unless you get a massage table, which I think every family should have one. You have one? I do. Okay. She has one, so you can do what I was doing, but I'm going to just for everybody out there who doesn't have one, we're going to put her in this posture and we can roll her forward just a little bit so that we have exposure to the back. Again, we're going to put on some oil. That was cold. Sorry, it's because, thank you. <laughs> I didn't use a warm stone, my fault. Normally I put my stone on it. So I'm showing, I'm going to go that way to get them. I need those cups. <laughs> How are you doing there? We're doing good. Are we doing good? Yeah. So all different kinds of cups. And for parents, because you have a table, which is awesome, you can actually get a set like I have, the intermediate sets that those, and you can use those. Because when you're face down, it's easier. When they're side lying, they have some, and again, she's smaller, you're not gonna use a big cup. You squeeze and you put it on, and then we slide and we pull. Squeeze and slide and pull. 
How does that feel? Funny. Funny. Funny bad? No, funny good. Yeah. It's like an octopus. So I'm going up or I'm going down. And then you would flip her and do the other side. Your turn. How do you know how much to squeeze? Just squeeze a little bit at first and she'll tell you. And I'll show you a quick trick. This is really important. Can you see me doing this, Ty? This is super duper important. If you put a cup on too strong and they say, ow, if it goes on too much and she's like, ow, to break, because if you try and pull it off, it's gonna hurt even more. You break the suction by pushing in between the skin and the cup. So sometimes if they've, yeah, if they get on, yeah, you just basically, you push the skin, that breaks the suction and that allows you to get it off easily so you're not gonna hurt her. Because if you have a whole lot of suction, these don't do much suction, but if you have a whole lot of suction and you go to pull it off, like mm -hmm. she's like, ow, then that's gonna hurt more. Okay. So you just break the suction that way. Because you want a little bit of suction because otherwise you can't pull, it'll come off too easily. Mm -hmm. So we want a little bit and we're pulling and we're going with that flow. It's your mom now. Does it feel like she's pulling or pushing? I don't know. <laughs> there, now you're pulling. No, I'm pulling. Like you were I was. <laughs> yeah, it's, and it's funny because when you push, you'll see it go in yeah. versus when you pull, you'll Let's actually pull see it. the skin come yeah. up a little bit. Yep. And I always say go over, you know, a few times. You don't want to go back and forth too much in one spot. And you can go in little circles. The idea is that we're working with that fascial tissue that gets so tight. And by softening that, then that helps the muscles, the blood flow to the muscles increase that circulation so that it'll start to relax and you won't see as much tension. Mm -hmm. So the other thing you can do too, this is the ones I told you where you just pop them on or if you get the other ones. So I cut myself all the time and I will tell people like for, so the different, I, I have to push in on these ones. That's what's different with this, okay? You can hold it a little bit so it's not as much, but you can just pop these ones on. So if she's like, my back's tight, my back hurts, she can put them on herself. Mm. And again, you, you really cannot hurt yourself. I have accidentally fallen asleep with them on and for like four hours, the next day, yes, there's a mark and it's <laughs> purple. Um, but as long as there's no bleeding disorders, and again, y'all check with your, your provider, go to your doctor, this is not any substitute for medical attention. The idea is that it's just natural things you can do to help your kids. So there's self cupping is what I call these. You can do, you can buy, again, you can get these anywhere. Um, I'll give you some, mm -hmm. but the idea is you can cup in this position. If you have a table, then you can cup when you're down. You can put them on the back, just even kind of light all the way down the spine. And the way you know when they've been on too long is they will itch or tingle. So say your mom puts the small ones all the way down your spine and leaves you and if you start feeling itchy or tingling, then you'd say, mom, or you just start moving and rolling and they'll pop off. So any other questions? So I'll show you a couple other things. So massage in general, again, when she's down, you've kind of watched anything we do, you can do. So working on kiddos with compression, the idea is that you're, you're thinking about where am I? I don't want to be on bone. Right. And right and too far out you're going to not be on muscle you're going to be on bone and that hurts so i would check with her and i would say and you can ask does you know does this feel good does this feel good yes is it too much pressure yes okay so then i would take off she doesn't doesn't feel like she can take as much pressure so okay. that's because she's so tight mm -hmm. so we're going to start gently oh, wow. and working what do you think now good okay so with massage, we can do all kinds of just work in that tissue and making it warm. She's so little <laughs> and smaller. It's not as, as much work. I can get my whole hand on there. Okay, we're going to have mom do it. Was that too hard? The only thing that complaint I hear when parents or will work on kids is when sometimes moms don't cut their nails and it can scratch, especially using cups, um, that they're not right on the muscle and that's where the communication takes place. Mm -hmm. um, with kids start off, 
you know, if you're working on them and you're unsure of, am I using enough pressure? If I'm using too much pressure, you can do it like 10, 15 minutes a day is helpful. You don't have to do a full hour massage right. all the time, but um, yeah, I would say just even, especially before night, if when they're sidelined, just lay in there with them and, mm -hmm. you know, spending that little bit of time and doing a little bit of massage is helpful. And, you know, when you're at home, um, she's with jammies, you can work up underneath her jammies. Mm -hmm. There's, there's a safety between parents and, and kids that's there yeah. with massage therapists. We either work on top of the clothing or if skin is exposed like this in a safe manner, then we can. Um, and that's something that we should always be teaching our kids anyway. So I'm going to show you a couple things real quick for ankles. So just stretching to keep her Achilles loose. Mm -hmm. Just stretching like, <laughs> did you feel that? She got some popping going on because her foot falls in. Mm -hmm. So all these little bones just pull a little bit. So when I put it in the correct position and I stretch her, we just get little pops and that's okay. She'll let you know if it's bad. So you do it. Does it feel the same? Yeah. Oh, it does pop a lot. <laughs> it does. It's just because we put it where it goes. So you want to be careful. We don't want to push and pull too hard. And if she's fighting you, you stop. Right. And like with little guys, when they're really, really tight, I don't go past. But with her, you can say, you know, go ahead and, and take a breath and see if you can let it go. But the if she tenses up on you, that's a sign it's too much. Mm -hmm. Okay, what do you think? Good. Trying to take a nap? <laughs> okay, any other questions about things you can do? Again, because you have a table, put her face down. Yeah. Where face down, where you want to think about though when you're working on her is pressure. It's easy to push too hard and too much. You've got to tell her. And I always say like someone goes, well, how, many, how do I know if it's too much pressure? If you have to she'll hold your me. breath, yeah, she'll tell you. But I always tell people, if someone's getting a massage and it's like, but it feels really good, maybe I need it. If you can't take a deep breath through the amount of pressure that you're being given, it's too much. Mm -hmm. If you're tightening up, then you risk that micro tissue damage. Mm -hmm. Looks like Jaden's getting a good massage. Yeah, we're working on the back here. And look at this, look at this happy. Ha, <laughs> <Whee. laughs> <laughs> Wee! <laughs> you like going up there, don't you? Yeah. yeah. And we're working along the spine with the fingers here, and getting Same a little. Thing, that's what you can be doing at yep. home. Yep. Just, just. Kids are so easy. Looks to like work we're playing, on. but we're actually getting some work it's done. Touch. Huh. It's touch. It's touch. It's so important. Yeah. yeah. And a lot of times I'll hear kids say, "I," you know, they'll or parents will say, "I can't." I'll never, you'll never be able to work on my kid. My kid won't let even us touch them. Um, they're just too tight, they don't like it. You don't, it doesn't feel comfortable when you're so tight. Mm -hmm. Or, you know, in our world right now, the tension that we have in general, it's, when you're that hypertense, it doesn't feel good. Mm -hmm. So the idea, that's where warm stones mm -hmm. and things that are more relaxing. Yeah. But if we don't work on our kids when they're babies or as they get older, it just builds up and it just gets worse. And I'll hear from a lot of adults, it's like, I wish I would have gotten a massage as a kid. I feel like I would have done better. Or I'd even be able to receive now. There's, they just don't even want to be touched because mm -hmm. they're so tight. I, we, I've noticed it's easier to do any sort of work after a bath. Yep. When their body's warm and they're relaxed, and especially, <laughs> you call it asleep over there. He's like, so I'm doing squishies. Yeah, so, so I call them squishies. So Tell them about it. Well, um, little babies have nice rolly thighs and rolly calves, and so I'm just sort of grabbing and gently squishing, like and it's this. and it's interesting. One calf is definitely tighter than the other. Well, he had leg stuff, right? Didn't he have, a, didn't he have something with his legs when I first worked on him? <laughs> I think so. Yeah, so anyway, his, his left calf is definitely more tense. So that'd be something you can work on. It's fun. You're just holding yeah. him. I'm just doing squishies. And it's going to increase blood flow and loosen things up. And squishies can be done at all ages. Yeah. I'm doing squishies. You're doing squishies too? Yeah, yeah squishies. Yeah, he's got back circulation. And, uh, he had a tongue tie. He had a tongue tie and a lip tie. Mm -hmm. But. I think that's actually what brought me in here. Yeah, I remember that. The yeah, the line of tension in his body. That's right now. Yeah, yeah. Hi. 
getting he's like, why am I over too? here? And I don't want to We're getting too. some massage. Do you yeah. like it? You have some squishies. Anything, just, just that touch. Yeah, it's so important and it helps so much. And when they're tight, I will say, I've had people oh, say, yeah. you know, when I've worked on my kiddo or I'm just rubbing their back, I'll like feel this little pop and I'm afraid that I've hurt them. And if the vertebrae are a little out a little bit, like I showed on the spine, if they're turned, when we relax those muscles and we let it go, they shift back on their own. And that's that little pop you might feel like in the in the feet or in the ankles or on the back. And it's okay if she starts screaming, <laughs> go to your doctor. <laughs> but other than that, yeah, there's just working on kids is so important. Mm -hmm. Yes. <laughs> You guys having a conversation over there? Oh yeah. yeah, yeah. Play play with your baby. Go hey. Jaden loves it. Yeah. Hi. Hey. Okay. Hey. I think we covered it all. <gasps> Hi. Hi. Well folks, thanks for watching. This is fun and you can play with your child, with your baby, and it doesn't even have to be official. It's just helping them release tension that's all built up in the muscles, the soft tissues, and whether it's squishies or working along the spine with gentle massage, whether it's cupping. Did you do hot stones? Yep. I missed that part. Or the hot stones, you gotta make sure they're not too hot. But um, yeah, this is all thing, these are all things you can do at home. And uh, if you have any doubt about it, obviously check with your trusted provider. Thanks for watching.